So what's the emergency? Wait, where are you? Oh, crap, where are you? You're not pooping again, are you? <laughs> no, no, that was awkward. I'm just lying in bed. Well, okay, what's up? Uh, read me a bedtime story. Are you f***ing kidding me? I had a scary dream, and I want a bedtime story so I can go back to bed. Please? Dave, you're 28. Go to bed. But, but, but... <sighs> okay, what book did you have in mind? There you go. The Tale of David and the Magic Toaster? Written by David? Seriously? Magic Toaster? <sighs> Come on, Jamie. Alright. <clears throat> This journey, like many before it, starts off in the morning, roughly 7.20 a.m. David, our hero and genuinely great-looking man... Aw, thank you for saying such nice things about me. It was written down. Anyway, he walks in the kitchen, ready to start his day, when he says, What on this earth could I eat to take care of this mighty hunger that has fell before me? Off in the distance, he heard a high-pitched voice say, Why don't you put some bread in me, big boy? Jamie, you need to do the voices. I'm not doing that. Uh, Jamie! <sighs> Why don't you put some bread in me, big boy? Said the toaster. As Dave realized the toaster was talking to him, he decided to put some sweet, sweet seven-grain bread into that toaster. This is a little dirty. It's only as dirty as you allow it to be, pervert. <sighs> as the bread shoots out from the toaster, in a sound of pure mechanical joy, David catches them and smears his thick peanut butter all... Yeah, no. Good night. Jamie?